Okay guys, so I wanted to show you this app, it's called Monument Valley and I made a blog post about it just recently. So let's go to... So you see you have the credits, you have the website over here and like a Facebook, a fan art and a Twitter if you want to find out more. So when you first get the game, you first get the Monument Valley, a quest for forgiveness. And then you can, after you finish those, you have the dream. So it's a standalone adventure. And then you need to actually pay for the Forgotten Shores and eight more magical chapters. As you can hear, the music is awesome. I'm just going to take it, put it lower. Okay. And then you actually have to pay for the Forgotten Shores, the eight more magical chapters. I think I paid like £1.78 or something like that for this extra bit. And then they also tell you there's Monument Valley 2. I haven't tried it yet and I know you have to pay around £4.99, which is basically £5, but yeah, so I didn't play that. But I want to show you, you can choose, obviously, you have a settings, you can reset, reset save, progress, which I think is nice because you can try it again. Obviously no sound and no music, but I really like the music and the sound, so now I'm going to complain about that. Showed you this. Let's go to the actual game. First thing that you get, so I'm just going to play the first the first chapter i think so you get 10 chapters as you can see i played all of them so you get 10 9 8 7 6 5 and so on all right so actually you open this one by one after you finish one chapter so it's quite interesting. So let me show you the first one. So this is how the first one starts. Tap the path to move Ida. So it actually tells you hold and rotate. So it tells you the first one is actually interesting because it tells you how to play most of the tricks so it like gives you like tips on how to do this and I think it's quite interesting I'm not sure how much you can see but it's like very beautiful it's so cute It does take a while to properly load, but... So that was the first one. Second one. Now this is a proper one. So you have... Tells you the chapter 2, tells you the name, the garden in which Ida embarks on a quest for forgiveness. So it kind of has a purpose. And you get like a story behind it, so it's quite nice. They've put a story to it. It's not like a a lot, but it's still nice. Okay, and then you, this is the same bit we've used previously, so you kind of now have an idea of how it works. Okay. So I've played this before, so it's kind of I'm not discovering anything new. You kind of know what I have to do already. I know I have to go and press those things. You need to be careful, for example, for this one, you can't just like randomly move like this because this one won't move. It will just get stuck.
and it's complete. So that's the first two basically. A nice bit about this is you have a button on the top, you can actually take a picture of this. If they have it like square, you can zoom it. So you can take a picture of like anything that you fancy, maybe you like, I don't know, the flowers and stuff and you can, you can take a picture. It's a picture. You can save it, you can share it, or you can't do it, or you can just like take another one. You can just take a picture of the whole bit, like this. See? It looks very nice. Anyway, and then you can close it and it's a complete. And then you go to the third one. I don't actually want to show you the third one. Because I'm giving away too much of the game if I do that. But you do have 10 of those. And it's really interesting. So I'm not I'm not gonna go more in into this. Again, don't forget about the website, the Facebook, fan art and Twitter. And the name of the game. Okay, so that's it. Hope you liked it. Gonna try and do more of these in the future. Hopefully I will get better at it. Anyway, see you soon. Bye.